the sci-fi classic Tron wowed audiences with its very special look back in the 80s. Tron Legacy went on to top this in 2010. Now, over 40 years after the first part, comes the third film in the saga called Tron Ares. The new sequel has been a long time in coming, so it will be all the more interesting to see exactly how the story will continue. In this video, we will update you on the latest developments. Let's recall, Tron is primarily about the fact that people can be digitized and immerse themselves in the virtual world of computers. In Legacy, the possibility was then opened up that this could also work in reverse. Kevin Flynn and his son Sam had to prevent the malicious computer program Clue from invading the real world with an army. Kevin sacrificed himself in order to prevent this, and Sam was able to escape from the virtual world together with the Quora program. Part 3 is now to be based on the idea that another program could enter the physical world. In this case, the title character Ares. It is not clear yet whether he will be the protagonist or the antagonist of the story. He may want to continue Clue's goal of wiping out the imperfect humanity. However, it is also conceivable that the character has entered our world rather involuntarily. It would certainly be fascinating to see how a computer program designed to be logical has to find its way in the real world. It goes without saying that Tron fans are also expecting exciting action in computer worlds from a third movie. So, we shouldn't have to wait too long for at least parts of the story to return to virtual reality. Many names, but only a few characters have been confirmed for Tron 3 so far. The eponymous lead role of Ares will be played by 30 Seconds to Mars frontman and Hollywood star Jared Leto. He has previously gained experience in science fiction with Blade Runner 2049. He is linked by his role as the Joker in Suicide Squad with another actor in the new Tron movie, as Cameron Monaghan played the same role in the Batman prequel series Gotham. However, many also know him as Ian Gallagher in the series Shameless or as Cal Kestis in the current Star Wars video games. Likewise in the Tron cast is Evan Peters. Every Marvel fan should be familiar with him. He played the role of Quicksilver in the recent X-Men movies and also made some appearances in the MCU series WandaVision. Another actress to join the cast is Sarah Desjardins. The Canadian actress is best known for the series Yellow Jackets. Among the other names, Gillian Anderson stands out in particular. She is unforgettable as Dana Scully in The X-Files, but is also doing well these days with series such as Hannibal and Sex Education. These are all new names so far, but fans of the predecessor are naturally wondering whether there will be a reunion with Sam and Quora, played by Garrett Hedlund and Olivia Wilde in Tron Legacy. Part 2 ended with the two of them fleeing to the real world together. However, it is still unclear whether the story will be continued. Back in 2015, Disney announced that a third part of Tron was set to follow and even the first actors were announced. However, the focus then shifted to the increasingly popular MCU and Tron Ares was put on hold. The project was resumed in 2021 with Jared Leto being brought in as a producer. In 2023, Joachim Ronning finally took over as director. The Norwegian has previously directed movies such as Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. The script was written by the rather unknown author Jesse Wigato, who will soon also be in charge of the screenplay for the reboot of The Crow. One exciting question is who will provide the soundtrack? One of the highlights of Tron Legacy was certainly the music of Daft Punk, but sadly, the band has already disbanded in 2021. So, whoever takes on this task will soon have big shoes to fill. Due to the actors and writers strike in 2023, production of Tron Ares had to be stopped before it could even begin properly. Almost 150 employees were laid off due to budget cuts. However, production was resumed in January 2024 under the working title Velcro. An exact release date is not known right now, but we fear that the film will not be released in theaters anytime before 2025. As soon as the first images are available, you will of course find them here. That's all the information about the third part of the Tron Saga. So, were you convinced by the predecessors at all and are you looking forward to the sequel? Or would it have been better to leave the Tron franchise alone and concentrate on new science fiction releases instead? Let us know your opinion in the comments!